Hey what's up guys, Grace here and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 best and fastest ways to make a lot of money in No Man's Sky. These methods that I'm about to show you will require, for the most part, a minimum amount of setup, they are super fast and they're also very good both early in the game as well as later on. So let's dive right into this. Also a quick shout out to Instant Gaming once more, this is a website where you can buy games very cheap, for example if you're looking into buying No Man's Sky, you can get it up to 60% cheaper using the link provided in the description box so if you're looking for some really awesome discounts I've provided some links down below you should check out but with that being said and done let's get back to the video at hand and coming up first we have archaeology which is one of the easiest forms of farming you can get into really early in the game all you need is a terrain tool upgrade and a planet that lists ancient bones under its description once you located such a planet go ahead and land on it and start looking for something called natural burial site with your analysis visor these are very easy to spot thanks to their yellow gold icons, so mark a waypoint on the first one you find nearest to you, travel to it and start digging. Buried underneath you might find anywhere from one single bone all the way up to several of them, all of different rarities and sizes. These can range from common, uncommon, all the way up to rare, with the rare ones of course being the most distinct looking and the ones that sell for the most amount of units on the market. One rare ancient bone can fetch at least a few million units each, while the more common ones typically sell in the hundreds of thousands of units, you're looking at at least 10 million units in like half an hour of farming, maybe even more if you're really lucky with the spawn locations. Coming up at number 2 we have another very easy method to do, though this one will require at least a few offensive and maybe even defensive upgrades as you will inevitably come in contact with advanced forms of sentinels. This is of course the salvageable scrap method and it can yield up to 15 million units in a bit under a half an hour. To get started you first need to locate a planet that lists salvageable scrap under its description, so go ahead and land on it, open up your visor once more and look for something called salvage container. This has the exact same type of yellow gold icon as the burial sites from the previous method had and once you find it and reach the location, start digging once more for something that looks roughly like a crashed satellite. Each of these can spawn with several protective casings and you will need to first destroy these to be able to move on to the actual core which contains the valuable item inside. The number of protective casings will dictate the rarity of the item you get inside from the core as well as its price on the market. So for example, two parts is for a common, three parts for uncommon and four for the rare. The rare scrap you get from these can fetch anywhere from 1.5 to 3 million units each if not more on the market while the more common and uncommon ones will get several hundred thousands units each. Do be careful as sometimes destroying these protective casings will cause an advanced form of sentinel to spawn and immediately attack you. These are more powerful than regular sentinels which is why I suggested you having some form of defensive and even offensive upgrades. Coming up to number 3 we have a method that is as deadly as it is rewarding. This is my favorite by far and it's of course the storm crystals farming method. This one involves collecting highly valuable storm crystals on extreme planets during extreme weather conditions. So before you even think about proceeding, make sure you have at least a few defensive shield upgrades as well as a few S-class upgrade modules for that and for hazard protection. You will need to hunt for planets with extreme weather conditions which aren't that easy to spot but the method that worked the best for me was of course to search for them in blue type systems and look for planets with unusual descriptions. So stuff like high temperature planets, highly radioactive sources or anything that makes you think of extreme weather conditions. Once you find such a planet, go on it and start looking for natural curiosities. These are rock formations that appear cracked with blue light emitting from inside and during severe storms these rocks open up exposing the storm crystals inside. So you will need to wait for a storm to occur and if you have been on the planet for some time and the storm has not yet started, despite the description listing an extreme weather condition with red letters, then move on to the dark side of the planet or vice versa. This should soon start and alert you of of an incoming storm, at which point the storm crystals will start showing up for you. During the storm you can see these crystals using your analysis visor thanks to their distinctive yellow energy icon appearing on your screen, but really they are so shiny you can see them with your bare eyes. The storm only lasts for a few minutes and only during that storm and that time you can gather these crystals, so make sure you're moving fast, but also pay attention to the tremendous amounts of hazard damage that it's dealt onto you, and if you can, carry a few iron batteries or maybe some sodium to replenish 
replenish your shields. 30 minutes of doing this method can yield anywhere between 15 to 20 million units if you're moving fast enough and it's one of the best and easiest methods to make a lot of units even later on into the game. Coming up at number 4 we have the Ancient Ruins farming method. For this make sure you're packing a lot of navigation data because it involves the signal booster and you can get navigation data from space station cubes as well as from inside containers on trading posts. From here pull up your signal boosters, go into input data and start scanning for artifacts. There are only two types of results you need to look for here, either ancient plaques or ancient ruins. If there's anything else, like a monolith or something, then don't even bother and the reason for that is because only ancient plaques and ancient ruins have the option to seek knowledge of the past, which in turn reveals historical data. On the map this will be shown as ancient ruin, so don't mind the confusion with the other type of ancient ruins and move towards the distinctive looking icon with a box inside of it. Once you reach the site there's going to be a large artifact crate buried underground with a very rare item inside. This crate requires three keys to be opened and all of these three keys can be found scattered around the same location as the crate itself. So dig them up, take them and get back to the crate itself and open it. If you're lucky enough you will be rewarded a highly valuable item that can sell for millions of units on the market. This method should bring you roughly 5 to 10 million units per hour though as you probably noticed by now it's not as easy as the previous methods and requires a little bit more preparation because navigation data is not so easy to fetch but if you have a lot of it to spare then it's definitely a good way to make money out of it. And finally at number 5 we have of course trading, possibly the best money making method in the game. This is for more advanced users out there who already have a starting capital of at least a few million units as well as a ship with a sizable inventory. For maximum efficiency and a ton more preparation I will post two videos down below you can check in greater detail but for those who only want to do it a few times or are less dedicated then here are the rules you need to follow. First, make sure you have an economy scanner upgrade on your ship as you will use this to both see the economy each system has as well as to scan for trading posts. You will also need an indium hyperdrive upgrade to be able to travel to any system, this is absolutely required. And of course you will also need to understand the trading routes. There are 7 economy types in the game with certain items selling best between certain types of economies. The most straightforward route you can start with is to start with a trading system, then sell into an advanced material system, and then from advanced materials into scientific, and from scientific back into trading. You can filter the galaxy view by economy type to make searching easier and from here your next focus should be on the economy strength as well as on the bonus percentages. I suggest exclusively doing this method through tier 3 economy systems so anything in the range of wealthy, opulent, affluent and so on. Once you located such a system look at its sell and buy percentages. If you plan to purchase stuff from that particular system look for something close to minus 30% on the buy side and if you plan to sell in that particular system then look Look for something close to 75% on the sell side. So to give an example, let's start with a system in the trading tier 3 wealth category with a buy order of close to 30%, so go ahead to the nearest trading post and purchase the expensive materials in it. Fill all your inventories up and then move on to the next one in the route which in this case should be an advanced materials category, again tier 3 wealth with a sell order of at least 75%. Land on the trading post and sell everything you purchased from the previous system and congratulations you probably just doubled or even tripled the few millions you started with. So from here on it's really simple, you just need to repeat this same process over and over again, so continue doing this from system to system in the route you just established. and. Even even a non-efficient route will get you at least 20 million units per half an hour once you master the basics. If you're looking to be super efficient about it then check the videos I mentioned down below as they can teach you how to earn billions within hours of playtime and that's why I said that this is probably the best method you can do out there. And with this we have concluded the top 5 best and fastest methods to make a ton of units in No Man's Sky. There is minimum amount of preparation involved, you don't need to set up over complicated bases or finish the entire storyline to get this. Just a few upgrades here and there and some knowledge of the game will suffice. Now if you enjoyed this of course then make sure to leave a like on this video to show your support, also subscribe for more awesome content like this and activate that notification bell and I will see you guys next time so peace out.